Let's take a look at this practice course designed by Ann Croft, especially for our Bad Dog Agility VIP program. It's a challenging international style course that allows for multiple handling options, front crosses, rear crosses, backsides, blinds, and throttles. This course will test your skills and give you a full course, 19 obstacles, in a much smaller space. We'll watch our demo dog, Trek, a 12-inch Sheltie, run the entire course and then discuss the handling for obstacles 14 to 19. If you want to use even less space, you can set up these three jumps in the tunnel and practice the close that we're going to be analyzing in this video. Putting your combinations together Right now we're going to start the analysis with the dog coming over 13, headed for 14. Now Brittany's going to power it to the next obstacle. And you can see here that this is a late front cross that is also out of position. So the dog is well in the air. Brittany should be somewhere over here as she wants to move in this direction. But you can see that she's even with the dog and not turned very much. So the dog is going to do what I would expect a dog to do in this situation, extend and go long. So we're not getting a tight wrap into the tunnel this way. We're getting a big loop. She's able to pull the dog very nicely considering the off course traps available to them. Right? The black jump being the big one. Put her dog through here and you can see she immediately starts to use a threat alarm. Her dog is not even landed yet and she's rotated toward the dog and that's going to pull the dog in this way. This is the opposite of what Brittany had done on the other corner. On the other corner she kept her hand out and the dog took the 270. This time she brings that hand in and she expects the dog to come in and threadle this, which the dog does very nicely. She immediately moves into a front cross, so this is a threadle front cross, picks the dog up, sends to the tunnel, and before the dog disappears into the tunnel, she's already moving on to the next uh, obstacle with purpose. You can see her drive through an acceleration, creating a turn here. You may find with some very large dogs, especially the ones jumping 26 inches, that they come around this as a, as a uh, backside. So if that's the case, you know that your dog is one that's going to need a throttle here. Okay? But for most little dogs, that's not going to be the case. Here we're going to look at an alternate ending starting from jump number 13. This is Sarah and her Border Collie Venture. They're jumping 26 inches. They take the 13, 14. You can see Sarah use a little bit of deceleration here, trying to get a better turn here than Brittany got with the Sheltie when Brittany was forced to drive in to do the rear cross, pushing her dog long. And you can see that you get a pretty good turn here, especially for a large dog. Sarah's immediately bearing down on the dog's line, so they're headed in two different directions. So as the dog goes in, the dog feels the pressure of the handler cutting behind, and this should create the correct turn out of the straight tunnel. So this is something that you need to practice. Does a very nice job. As the dog is taking off here, Sarah's going to do the same throttle that Brittany did. There's your throttle arm. And now instead of front crossing, she's going to do something interesting. As the dog takes this purple jump, they're headed straight for the middle of the tunnel. So, if you can imagine in your head that the tunnel, rather than being straight, is curved in this way, and the dog is headed for the middle of the tunnel, you would properly use a thread alarm to put them into here, and you would use your left arm to push them into here. So what Sarah is doing as the dog comes over is to use the thread alarm again. And so that's what that right arm is for. And that's going to pull the dog to the other end. So the throttle is a very slick move. Now here you see her using a throttle arm again, and this is because the dog is big. The first time she ran it through, she tried to do it without a throttle arm, and the dog instantly read backside 270. 
Um, this is a dog that measures around 21 inches at the shoulder. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at the striding here. We got one, two, and the dog is up. That's what it takes to get in. So that if you're not doing that, if the dog takes one step out in this direction, it's an automatic 270. Hence the throttle. Esteban and I have been longtime fans of the Happy Hurdler courses designed by Ann Croft Agility Coach. That's why we've partnered with Ann to bring our VIP members exclusive courses every month. We'll run each course with our dogs and provide you with key handling insights and teaching points. You're free to use these courses for yourself, your friends, or your students. Each month there will be an international stock course and a USA Masters level course. These courses are nested, allowing you to set up the obstacles once and work various skills over a few days. They're also perfect for working in classes or with friends where there's dogs at different levels of their training. The VIP program will open for registration in just a few days, but for now, download the course maps and think about how you would handle this course with your dog. And don't miss our next video where Esteban takes a look at his own performance from a recent USDAA Master's Challenge Standard course. Happy training!